Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I have a little Sephora haul, not little, it's huge. Um, I shopped the VIB sale on Friday. So I wanted to show you what I picked up in store. I was able to pick up everything that I wanted in store, which I was surprised. I went to a location that I don't normally shop at. Um, so I was really excited about that. I've never shopped the sale in person ever in my life. Um, so it was really fun and I enjoyed it. I got there right when they opened because there was something that I really wanted and I figured they would sell out with pretty quickly. So I'm pretty sure it's still Rouge. It might be VIB now. I'll have all the details for the sale linked down below as well as all the products that I mentioned. And then I'll have, um, I'll throw up the playlist or like my Sephora recommendations videos that I've done in the past up here. If you guys are curious to check out any of my recommendations, they still stand. But I wanted to share you, share with you what I picked up this year. I'm guilty of not just shopping the sale once. So yeah, I do already have two things in my cart. So we'll see. Anyway, let's jump in. Um, I always, always, always encourage you. This is my biggest tip. Always check other sites. Like literally always check other sites because nine times out of 10, if you're not rouge, they're doing at least 20% on other sites as well. Sometimes they're shipping minimums and different things like that. But 90% of the time they're doing 20% off on other sites. So if you don't have um, rouge status then check those other sites first if there's like a specific brand that you buy a lot from always recommend doing that my second tip for shopping for the sale is use this as a time to either restock on your favorites obviously or try some different things that you've been eyeing that are maybe a little bit pricier or so on and so forth so let's go ahead and let's dive in okay so no particular I'm just gonna pull and go these if you follow my channel and have followed my channel for years these are a staple. I honestly might pick up more. I grabbed the only three that they had in the store. These are the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Skin Barrier Moisture Mask. These are my favorite sheet masks of all time. They're $9, which is stupid for one sheet mask, but this is a mask that I notice an instant difference in my skin. Like if you are suffering from dry, irritated skin, this is going to literally save your life. I'm obsessed with them. I really love this entire line. You guys are gonna be surprised when I didn't pick up the moisturizer this year because I tried a different one, so we'll see if I regret that decision. But um, their moisture cream is amazing, and I also use their liquid toner, which is kind of like a lightweight moisturizer slash thicker, more hydrating essence toner situation, but this all-time favorite sheet masks of life. This is actually the moisturizer I decided to try out instead of the Dr. Jart Ceramidin. It's significantly cheaper. I've heard really good things about it. So it's the Tower 28 SOS. Um, it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. So I feel like it's gonna be super hydrating, really calming and gentle. This is their daily barrier recovery cream. I felt this in the store, it felt amazing. So I'm excited to use this as like a night cream. I honestly don't know how I feel about containers like this for moisturizer obviously it's way more sanitized sanitized hygienic words but I like the idea all right this just looks so small to me I don't know why. a pot looks so much bigger even though it's similar fluid ounces this actually has 1.86 which is really freaking good for the price so I'm excited I felt that on the back of my hand I've heard really good things and I'm hoping it will be a replacement for my ceramide cream this winter because that will save me some money um, next guy is a repurchase. This is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I love this stuff. I don't use this a ton. I would say I probably use it like once a week if that because I mix in other exfoliants. This is just one of my preferred choice of exfoliants but I really like this. I like the versatility of this product. You can use it on a cotton pot cotton pad and really get in there and kind of do a little bit of physical with the chemical or you can just put it on like an essence um both ways I love it I love it for different reasons but this is so good just do not overdo it with this product it's very very intense and strong but it's one of my favorites and a little bit goes an insanely long way I think I've had mine for over a year I'm about out I have like a little bit left so I wanted to pick that up restock of my benefit the professional super setter spray this is my favorite setting spray i have a bunch of like minis still i think or maybe i'm out i don't know maybe i'm out um this is my favorite setting spray of life if you've never tried it it's 
truly the best. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for the most part, I find that all makeup setting sprays um, keep my makeup looking good longer, but they still don't help with transfer proof. Like I still, my makeup still transfers if I like touch my face or whatever. For the most part, no matter what makeup setting spray I use, I think that also has a lot to do with the products that you're using underneath. If you're not using a really mattifying dry down foundation, that's going to be a big deal and so on and so forth. But, um, I like this because it just seamlessly blends all of my products together so well and it just looks really, really natural on the skin. I feel like it helps take away that powderiness, but it also blends everything. It's almost like a spray powder, if you will. Amazing, spray blurrifying powder, but it doesn't add anything on your face. It's, it's my favorite. This is a new product. I'm so excited to try this. It's not new to the world, it's new to me. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga, their tri Clone, tri Clone Skin Technology Foundation. I have the concealer, love the concealer, and it's a perfect match for me. So when I saw this, I was like, well, I was hopeful that this would be the perfect match for me, and it is. So this is the 175 Light and Neutral. I'm excited. I've heard it's creamy and thick, so I'm nervous about that, but I'm excited to try it out because I absolutely have heard amazing things about it and I love the foundation. So we're going to give this a go. I honestly always invest in a foundation for the sale. Foundations really last a super long time for me because I really don't use a ton. When I put on a foundation, I wear it very much like a skin tint, very light and very just like natural on my skin. Um, and yeah, a little bit goes a super long way on me. So I love the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. If you've never tried it, it's probably one of my favorites, or it is probably my favorite foundation. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, I think I don't have the right color of it, but um, the other thing, I love the Maybelline Skin Tint, the Hourglass, Hourglass Skin Tint, but I'm excited to see how this fits in. Next guy, oh, is also a new one. This is the Inky List tripeptide plumping lip balm but it's not like a singing plumping it's more of like a medical sort of plumping like it has peptides in it that plump the lips i've heard that this is good but i've heard it kind of tastes like and smells like vaseline which i'm fine with that but i wanted just kind of like a plain lip balm i've been in lip balm love recently oh my god i have tried so many new lip products it's kind of insane um yeah, it doesn't smell like anything, but it's kind of just like a Vaseline. Figured it'd be nice to have in the car. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it smells like Vaseline. Probably could just buy Vaseline, but <laughs> it's affordable and I really like the Inky List and I'm excited to try its plumping benefits over time. Um, this guy, I don't know if I've had this before and I lost it or I gave it to somebody. I've never been like an eyelash curler sort of girl because I typically have pretty curled lashes, but I wanted this to do just in case it, on those days that I didn't want to wear mascara because I just notice a huge difference when I don't wear mascara. Like I just feel, I like it, but I feel a little naked. <laughs> so having something just lift my eyelashes because my lashes are long, I feel like it's really going to just open up my eyes and I like them. I have a Sephora one and it sucks. Like it literally just like bends my lashes up where... This I've heard is better, it better be, because it was not cheap, it's like 24 bucks, but it's the Shiseido um, eyelash curler. But I mean, it's got amazing reviews and everybody, I feel like I've had it in the past, but I don't know, but I had heard about it a ton when I worked for it, Sephora. This guy, this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Day, or Dream Face Cream. I've used this, I think I've had like three of them. This was my favorite night cream back when I did work for Sephora. And then I played with the It Cosmetics, um, like pillow sleep something or other night cream. But I went back to this one, um, cause I hadn't used it in a while and I kind of wanted to see which one I was feeling more. Cause I don't know why I relate them the same because they're purple, like bluish packaging. But this really does have a scent to it where the It Cosmetics, I, yeah, it did have a scent to it as well. But I love the scent of this. It's very like calming and just... Ooh, it's all messed up oh I love the scent of this so I'm excited um to have this back into my routine for nighttime I ran out of my it cosmetics um night one and then I was using the it cosmetics confidence in a cream so now I'm happy to have this back 
in my life. So I'll see which one I like better, this or the It Cosmetics one, um, and then we'll decide which one I'm gonna purchase again after that. But this is such a good night cream. I really like the um, that specific cream from Fresh. There's really not a ton that I really love from Fresh besides that guy. I think that's a standout guy, and I'm obsessed. This guy, my box is all dented up, but this is the, this is a new product for me. This is the In Beauty Project. I've never tried anything from them, but I've heard amazing things about this vitamin C. It's the Green Machine Vitamin C Superfood Serum. It visibly improves dark spots and brightens. Infused with vitamin C, 15 superfoods, and niacinamide. Packaging is cute, very like watermelony. Um, I like that it's in a um, like completely opaque, yes, opaque <laughs> um, bottle. It, it is plastic though. Um, but I'm excited to try this out. I am actually, I just, um, placed an order for Muesli to try their dark spot cream as well as their, like, I want to say it's like a tretinoin mix for my face. I was going to go to the dermatologist, but when I went to the dermatologist last time for my spot cream on my face, I ran out of it. That's why I need a new one. Um, my, like, uh, what do you want to call it? Your copay, my copay was $50 and my, um, prescription was I want to say 60 so it was a better deal to go with muesli uh, it was more affordable so I was like okay well I'm just gonna try it from there and see what I think it's the exact same chemical makeup because you can see as the one the doctor prescribed to me so yeah anyway I thought this would be nice in combination to kind of really brighten up my skin I'm really on that trend of just kind of trying to get rid of the dark spots that I've created from the sun, from melasma, hormonal things. Um, so adding vitamin C back into my routine. I kind of stopped for a while and was using um, copper peptides and I like them, but I feel like it helps with like the overall like brightness of my skin, but it doesn't really lighten dark spots. So let's move on. I told you, I'm lip balm obsessed. These summer Friday lip balms, I'm kind of annoyed that I bought them for the first time because I can never stop now. They are literally, truly my favorite lip balm ever. I have not touched Burt's Bees since I put these, brought these in my life. And that's saying a lot. I was obsessed with Burt's Bees for probably 10 years, but I felt like it left me in a chronic chapped lip when I didn't leave the house with one. I was like, ah! If I didn't reapply it every 10 seconds, I was like, ah, because it really wasn't helping. These are super hydrating, super creamy, super buttery. Some of them give off a pigment. It's sh pink sugar is super light though. It doesn't give off a ton, but it gives off a beautiful gloss. I swear if you haven't tried these, first of all, they last a long time. My recommendation though, because they're not cheap, okay? I keep one on my desk and one in my car. They do not leave those places because if I did, I would lose them. Occasionally I will have one also in my purse, but I really try to keep them just in those two places because if I mix them, then we're done, okay? We've lost them and it's just, they're too expensive to lose. Um, I've gone through two vanilla, two pink sugars, and now I have the new um, sweet mint and then the pink sugar. This is just a plain and that's like a pinky color. It's also very, very light and neutral. I was really thinking of not getting this, okay? I have two more things. Um, I had stopped using my Elephant Palette, which I bought last year, I think, or was it two years ago that I bought that? I think it was last year. Um, the Elephant Palette was my first time buying one of the limited edition holiday palettes from Hourglass. I love Hourglass. I have like two of their, three of their singles, four of their singles, minis, because you don't need the big ones. They last forever. And I fell in love with the formula, especially as my skin was aging. I went from oily skin to drier skin, and I feel like hourglass powders just look beautiful on dry, aging skin. Um, so, yeah. I stopped using my elephant for a while because I thought it was breaking me out. It wasn't. I started bringing it back into my life. And I'm obsessed with just the finish and how all the powders seamlessly blend together. Stunning. So I saw this. Um, they have the leopard, the snake and the jellyfish. I believe this is the middle one. The uh, jellyfish one I was interested in, but I have the main blush that they have in that palette is um, Diffuse Heat, which I have the mini of, so I'm like, mm. I know a lot of people buy these because of the exclusivity of the, like the only colors in this palette. I don't buy it for that. I buy it for the practicality of like what I wanna use it for. And this palette definitely seemed to be the best. So it has 
Um, let me pull it out. This is the unlocked edit, whatever. I haven't even stuck up the thing on it. I know if you go on their website, you can customize deciding which palette or face you like, but I honestly really like the leopards and the black because I have the pink with the um, elephants and it's super cute. It's like a magnetic case. It's gold inside. I'm like not even hitting pan on my any of mine currently. I have this. I want to say this highlight is the same as my other one, but it comes with, I want to say, one finishing powder, um, one strobe, metallic strobe powder, three blushes, and a bronzer, which I can't believe that it's three blushes. Um, but yeah, it's three blushes, which is crazy. Um, so these are the, this is the bronzer, blush, finishing powder, or no, um, strobe powder, like a highlighter. I have my highlighter in the inner corner of mine from my previous palette. Uh, finishing powder, blush, and blush. These have more of these like marble tone blushes, which I only have one of those um, in my collection that's diffused heat, so I'm super excited to have this. It's just like the perfect palette if you're a minimal makeup girl. Um, it's good. And they sell out really fast. Like I said, I didn't think that they would have them in my store. They had three when I walked in and anyone that was around it had one in their hands. So I was like, thank God I showed up early. Um, last but not least, I did also didn't think they would have this in store. This is the Summer Friday, the Lip Butter Balm set. Uh, it said they didn't have it in stock. They had one left. So this has their new limited edition or their new exclusive um, one in iced coffee. I bet that it will become regular after the holidays if people love it but it comes with three another vanilla um this is just probably one of my favorites because it's just basic and yeah i told you i really like these i'm not going to have them all out at a time like i'll go through them but these are tinted so we have iced coffee which i've heard a lot of people complain about because it smells like caramel yeah it's a sickening kind of like caramely scent but I don't, I don't really care, but this is kind of like a brown, I think. I haven't swatched these yet. If you've never tried these, these, these have like a silicone tip to them, which is so good, and um, it's like curved. Anyway. Oh, it's super subtle. It's not very like in your face at all. None of these are very in your face at all. So that's iced coffee. And then hopefully I like cherry because the poppy color that I got was the first like tinted one that I got really besides pink sugar which isn't anything and I felt like the color was suspended in the gloss versus the gloss being the whole color okay this one looks like the gloss is the whole color I feel like I just got a random one see how that one is like the whole thing Ooh, that one looks pretty and it smells like cherry that one's pretty for the fall and winter so yeah that's it you guys that's everything that I picked up from the Sephora sale let me know what you guys are picking up um, if there's anything specifically that you think I should try, I think I'm, oh, well, I'll guess I'll tell you the two other things that I have in my cart mm, so far. I haven't pressed order yet. One of them is for Scott. He loves the, um, Jack Black lip sets. I always give him one normally for Christmas, but he's been out of them for a while. So I got him or I'm getting him the bomb squad. I didn't think he would like it, but I asked him, it's got natural mint black cherry passion fruit and watermelon I didn't think he'd like the like flavory ones but he said yes and then the other thing I'm thinking about trying it's got amazing reviews if you try it let me know the Bondi Boost hair thickening therapy styling spray it's supposed to be just like help for helpful for thickening like thin hair I have a lot of hair but it's really really thin and I'm trying to grow it back out again I'm kind of excited for the journey but I want to make sure that I'm growing it out really healthy and thick and taking care of my scalp and taking care of my hair um so yeah those are the two other products that I have in my cart so far there's nothing really that's jumped out to me the holiday sets none of them really jumped out to me I will pick up the holiday set of the living proof dry shampoo and texture spray but that always they always have too much and they always go on the 30 percent off sale so don't waste your money on that with only 20 percent. but that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed found this video helpful i don't know if that helpful but if you're curious to see what i picked up from the sephora sale that is it i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video real real soon happy shopping and yeah again i'll have all the products linked down below for you guys